It's just a small eastern Oregon creek, but it could play a big role in the recovery of northwest salmon and steelhead. This is Bridge Creek, a tributary to the John Day River, and scientists say the little stream contains extremely valuable fish habitat. Really no human influences, uh, gorgeous shading, and a great deal of food source for the fish as well as additional gravels. But until recently, salmon and steelhead couldn't access the miles of pristine spawning grounds in Bridge Creek's headwaters that they once used. Irrigation diversions and an old culvert block the seasonal migrations of salmon and steelhead. This bridge provides additional passage for you know all native species in the system. You know, we used to have a, a big culvert that was kind of failing, rotting out at the bottom and provided uh, at least a partial barrier. The large rusty culvert once located at the entrance to the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument has been replaced by a bridge, making it much easier for salmon and steelhead to swim upstream. It's all thanks to the Confederated Tribes of the Warm Springs Indian Reservation and partners such as the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the Wheeler Soil and Water Conservation District. For the first time in decades, salmon and steelhead can again swim into the rich spawning and rearing grounds of Upper Bridge Creek. Additional habitat improvements further up the creek have also been good for fish. Last summer, construction crews replaced this old concrete irrigation diversion with this brand new fish ladder. It was the last of several barriers to be removed from the stream, unblocking miles of habitat. It's great for the fish. We're seeing increased steelhead numbers, and now we've seen uh, Chinook within the Bridge Creek watershed. Gabe Williams of the Wheeler Soil and Water Conservation District coordinated the Bridge Creek Improvement Projects. He's proud of the 88-foot-long fish ladder he designed. For me, it was, it was a big challenge that I accomplished with the help of a lot of others, and, and that means a lot to me. Williams says the complexities of the fish ladder, which was constructed to help fish make it upstream even during low water flows, was difficult to build because of the site's remoteness and topography. It's a great showcase project just because of what it's accomplished and came in there and showed that by working with a lot of different landowners and a lot of different agencies, difficult projects can be accomplished. We're making some huge progress here in the John Day and this is, this is a prime example of passage into pristine habitat. Bonneville power biologist John Bacher recalls visiting the site before construction began three years ago. He remembers watching fish struggle to swim beyond a six foot high concrete dam that was located downstream from the new ladder and has since been removed. And there happened to be some adult steelhead here that day that were trying to leap over and they were bashing their head against the concrete and had no chance of, uh, of making it. Of course, fish habitat improvement projects like Bridge Creek would not be possible without partners like the Bonneville Power Administration, which provided a large portion of the project's funding. Plus, it's imperative to have the cooperation of local landowners, such as Craig Woodward, who owns this section of Bridge Creek. I, I've never denied one of these type projects. We've had several of them on our property. If it benefits the fish, that's good as far as I'm concerned. It will take years to learn the exact impact of the new bridge and ladder on Bridge Creek's wild fish populations, but scientists suspect the improvements will greatly increase salmon and steelhead numbers. And Warm Springs Tribal Fisheries biologist Scott Turo says, with just a little more work, Bridge Creek's fish habitat can be made even better. If we can get more pools, more roughness, more hiding places, more places them to evade predation, things like that, then we can further increase that production. In build on the benefits of increased fish passage and things like that.